Yeah. The civil war, are you saying in the north, not everybody is a uh, Hausa, right? Not everybody is Hausa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but most of us that come from the south, we believe in the north, everybody is Hausa. No. Uh, so. Because in, in the north, we have many tribes. We have Etilo, we have Tif, we have uh, Idoma. We have uh, uh, here, and all we are in the north. I know of then Cham, have, I know of Tangali. Uh -huh, we have Hausa, Hausa Plani. Okay. Then inside Hausa, we have Hausa, but there is some Hausa that they used to call the Hausa Plani. And I know of Shahab. Mm. Then Kanuri. Kanuri. Yeah. They're the one that we used to call them Bari Bari. Okay. Another name of Kanuri. Okay. okay, okay. Then inside them, there is some that they are Muslim. Okay. There is some that they are Christian. Like even if, if you went to Taraba State, mm. Taraba to Adamawa, inside Adamawa, we have Kanuri. Okay. We have uh Tangali. We have uh, inside Adamawa there's Tangali too. Yes. <laughs> wow. And then we have Mumwe. May I don't know Nigeria Wallah. Like. We have Mumwe. <laughs> Uh, we have that they used to call Mumuye. We I've have never Mumuye. heard of Mumuyi. They said there are 250 tribes in Nigeria. We have Jonjon. Wow. <laughs> Nigeria and our continent. Uh -huh. no we country. have Jonjon. We have um, uh, the other tribe. I forget the tribe. Eh, but, eh, but te tell me about the Civil War story. What you know about? Mm, about the Civil War story. All I know, I know they fight the civil war just simple because the tribal something claiming of Christianity and Muslim. Yeah, but what what happened? According to what we learned, was that uh, they said there was riot. You know when Cardinal Zegu caused scoop with um, UI boys, and there was scoop, but the Igbo people nobody died. You understand? What I'm saying and uh, Sadana, who is the arrowhead of the north, was killed. You understand? And they said uh, Unzegu was his boy. You understand? And they said, I know we weren't born that time, but they said there was a, a poster where they put leg on Sadana's head and it was provocative. So they killed a lot of people. And somebody said two days there was no government. But recently in just here, right here, somebody said it's a lie. It was two weeks. And they went to arrest Agu in Ronsi. For two weeks, no government in Nigeria. Before they now commanded... Uh, they said they spoke to David Ejo, Major General, and refused to, and another Major General refused that time. So, they now said, go on, should command, and they obeyed him. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I haven't learned, even most of the Westerners were not part of the war. They didn't go. Middle Belt, uh, Midwest, and the North fought the Civil War. Well, you know, in our own history, the way they gave us the history. Yes. But by then we also we were, we were not born. Oh, sure, now sure. We have the history from our place, yeah. our parents. They said during that time there was a civil war and then in that civil war people that planned that coup, they planned the coup with some uh somebody general T or then Yes. And then they are the people that fight the final war. They are the one that he's the one that are you gonna arrest the go racing. Because Ego was his boss. Mm. Have you ever heard of Lieutenant Ruben no. A. Ojiswa? I didn't hear about that one. Did you, did you hear of Lieutenant, uh, is Major General, the Lieutenant General, J. Tusini? Was he in the Civil War? I didn't hear about that one. The only one I knew because he was somebody that he was so familiar that his name was being carried. That is the one that even arrested this one at uh, the urban racing. During that time, he clamped on his story, building and meeting when he's bathing. That is where he just sees his charm. The time he took his charm, then the army wanted to bomb the house and fly from the hostel from the story building in the urban racing. That is where he got him. That is where we had how they arrested him. Okay. Wow. So, but from your own perspective, I was told right here that uh, they, 
they had to take out a lot of Igbo people because they said we were told from history. History sometimes that's why fellas say teacher don't teach me nonsense. History can misinform sometimes. You understand? Because we were told that uh, the first uh, most educated people are the Yoruba people. They are able translated the Bible into Yoruba language. So like we from Edo, they try to co-opt us. They say Midwest. And they were teaching with Yoruba. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. But we are not really Midwest. We are supposed to be either Mid-South or South-South. You get what I'm saying? Because we are close to Niger. We are between the East and the West. So if they say Midwest, you know, something is wrong somewhere. You get what I'm saying? Okay, but at the end of the day, what we are saying is that, um, okay, first uh, TV station, it was in the West. Coco House, it was in the West. Free education in the West. So everything I will love did. The question is this, because we were told that 1957, Antonin Nahus moved the motion for independence. And Sadana said, no, we're not ready. Did you hear that one? It's like I have something about. No, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Because Chief Anthony Nahori is from the Midwest. Uh, because so. All those things happened during that time because the Yoruba men, actually, they were the, the first people that came out to, to show people that they are the clever people. Okay, now Yoruba first shows yes, sense back. Yes, no Bibo. It is Yoruba. <laughs> that is where the reason started. Then, Igbo, okay. Igbo to them, uh, see that even in population, they are more popular than the Yoruba men. How can Yoruba okay, Igbo plenty pass Yoruba. Yes. Are you sure? Huh? For but this country? Them, okay, that time. Uh -huh, you know, okay, even civil war don't reduce uh -huh. them. Even, okay. even in the government, if you have to see in the government by then, okay. they are the people ruling. No, they were very intelligent. Uh -huh. Namdi Aziku and the rest so, of them. That time, if you see somebody in Namdi Aziku, you will see this uh, uh, Ojuku. Yeah. All those ones. They see that they are clever. Than Ojuku the went to a very expensive school in London. Mm -hmm. so and his father then, was a... The first billionaire in Nigeria. So, if you have to see by then, even if the uh, how can I say it? The government inside their government, they are the people that have the most important position. Okay. Like if you have to see the the post of Ojuku, is the uh, what what are they calling the the this thing? How am I going to put it? Okay. It's just as the, uh, the minister. Okay, in Nigeria at that time. As in Nigeria, nobody has that position. Okay, which year was that? Is it 1966? Or? It's like from 1960. Around 1950-something. Around that time, before the... Nigeria got his independent. Oh, Juku has gotten uh, authority in the army like that. By then, you know, by then, the white men, they are still ruling. Okay, so, okay, they respected Ojuku because he's cool uh, in London. Uh, well, by then, you, you know, mean 1950, Ojuku has a rank uh, in Nigeria army? By then, uh, the white men, they described him as something because they see that even in Nigeria, there's no one like him. <laughs> Ojuku, <laughs> I now see why Bianca Ono, Bianca uh, Ono fell in love with 60 years old man. The man is superstar. All, all that time, the uh, the Igbo men, they see Nigeria as if, hence, they are on top. No one is like them. <laughs>